going into this, I'm pretty reserved about uh, Cybertron Mode Prime for one fact. He's a deluxe size Prime. The deluxe size Optimus Primes, I've never been too fond of. Uh, except for Supercon Prime from Armada, which rocks. So, uh, could Suctimus have a new buddy? Let's find out. Alright, so right here we've got the Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime. E this, except for some little gaps right here in his truck mode, he is actually fairly tight. The, uh, there's not too much open seams on this figure, because in the pictures it looks like ass, really. But I like this a lot more than I thought I would in the packaging. Usually what I do is I open the one I think I'm going to like least, and then work up to the one I think I'm going to like the most. And I might have made a bad move here because this guy's actually a lot better than I gave him credit for in package. Uh, you have to ha partway transform him to stow his weapon, which is kind of tricky, but there's a notch inside where it fits into that it slides through both hands and then ends up right there. And actually, if you flip up the little thruster on his axe, you, can, you have a little place where you could hook up a trailer to him if he had a trailer the right size. But overall I like him. The only thing I don't like is the back of him right here. He's got tank treads instead of rear tires. How much would it have taken for them to put a paint application on these to where they're not just blue like the rest of the leg? Uh, gonna lose a little bit on that. I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, truck mode's gonna get an 8 actually rather than my standard 7 because it really does work a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, to start the transformation, first thing I do is I go ahead and just move this off to the side, flip the arms up, take his axe out, and just set that aside for right now. Next thing he's going to go on, just take his arms, rotate them out to the... not going to be able to do that until I disconnect this, Josh. Go ahead and pull his legs out. That's what I meant to say, obviously. Uh, once you get that done, rotate these down. After you put these tabs out to the side, this is only the second time I transformed this guy. So, excuse me, sorry. Uh, next thing you're going to do, the hips right here, pull this straight back. And you see, now i got this little tab that it flops on. Go ahead and pull this back, and you see his second fake grill for the robot mode. Let's see here. Next thing you're going to do, his uh, windshield right here is just going to rotate down, up, back a little bit. Then it's going to come down and kind of make his chest like this. It all folds in very neatly. And this is the point where I decided I actually like this guy. Is You see they have this gap in his grill? It has to slide in just like that onto a tab that I don't think I can get on video for you. And that's pretty much it. It's a very nice looking chest. Go ahead and flip his feet out. There is no heel spur. There's just a little bump in the tank tread. But he seems fairly stable from the little bit I've missed. You don't turn around the waist. You just turn him around at the knee. Take the shoulders. Rotate them down into the side. You've kind of got a uh, War Within Prime look with the tires inside his shoulders. Fold these tabs down like this to cover the tires up from the bottom. And flip his head back. Position the shoulders. And the only other thing you've got to do is his left hand right here. You can take and push that up to line it up with his other hand. Uh, part of his transformation, they end up right in front of the other, so you got to take and that just moves back and forth. Uh, let's see. These right here, just turn them, and this gray port on this, this thing on his left arm, arm, turn that out to the side, and you can clip his shield back on. He's got an enormously long handle on his axe. I mean, it's kind of goofy looking. 
So anyway, he's got like a broom handle on his axe. I don't remember who, I guess it was Sean, because he's the only one I remember watching this guy be reviewed by. You can turn the axe handle around like that, and it's a little bit more proportionate. It just looks strange the way he's holding it, if you look at it hard enough. But uh, anyway, I can't get over just how much I like the proportions on these figures. Because my, one of my big criticisms, and i got to apologize to everybody who I said that the animated line was going to suck. Uh, this is a nice start. Uh, I still have three more figures to unbox and do reviews on. But uh, this is very promising for me. That a figure that I thought was going to suck this hard is this nice. I mean, the posability is very good. Uh, because of having two joints in the elbow, you can get him into some very good poses. I mean, you can have him with his axe over his shoulder. Oh, let's get back to the axe while I'm thinking about it. His axe has three modes. You have, like, the standard uh, rocket axe, the, his rocket boosted axe that just, like, lay in stuff real bad, like that. Then, you can take, fold the rocket booster down and have a double headed axe, which looks better from this side because it's got the paint applications. And then, you've got the ludicrous axe. Just go ahead and take this off, have it opened up like this, and there's a small notch in this gray part that fits right onto this thin part on this red piece of his uh, truck cab. So that just snaps in together, put his axe back in his hand, and his chest is slightly too wide to be able to put the axe handle in both hands. It's just not physically possible as far as I can tell. It comes very close, but still, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Uh, only complaint about the huge axe is that it's almost too heavy for his... Uh, oh, I, I say that and then it's going to hold it just fine this time. Uh, the first time I transformed him, the ball joint didn't act like it wanted to hold the axe up whenever it's set up like this. But it's doing just fine now. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I don't care for the big axe that much. I'd rather just keep it as a shield on his arm. Because if you have it set up on his axe, all it looks like is the top of his truck on a pole. So I like the double-headed axe with the shield on his hand. And that's probably how I'm going to pose him. Uh, his head is on a ball joint. It's very poseable. But if you have his head... Let me, if you have his head right here, you can pose it 360 degrees. But if you put it back in this little notch where it fits real well, it limits it to only about 10 degrees side to side. Uh, it looks better like this, you know, because he's not looking down at his, you know, at your feet or nothing while he's talking to you. It looks nice like this, but I can see where I'm going to have to have him posed with his head just a little bit forward to be able to get him in any decent looking dynamic posing, which is not terrible, but it's a little disappointing. Uh, overall, the robot mode is going to get a 9. All right. Well, uh... This is Josh, Eaton Crow, and unfortunately loving it. Uh, you have a good day.